Hi Techie guys, I am Nand Kishor Swami and in this particular tutorial we would be finalizing our code uh, for the robot uh, which will enable our robot to play the game independently. So let's get started. Uh, let's define a main function and our first step is to start or run the uh, start game function. So what exactly this function would be doing? It would be just navigating through the initial screens just clicking on certain buttons. So once, uh, since that is just only one time activity, so we would be running this particular function only one time. And the next thing is we're going to have an endless loop for now uh, to check if there is a customer. If there is a customer, then we'll check what exactly customer is ordering based on the image. And then uh, we'll make that food and if we, by the, mac by the time it's making, it will also check if we are running out of the ingredient. If yes, then we'll buy the ingredient. So that's the flow. So uh, if you want you can add an uh, counter so to uh, after a certain number of order you can just have your robot to stop. So right now I am not uh, having any counter. Uh, so let's also go through the entire code one more time. So first thing you need to import the OS library then time then win32 API win32 con and PIL. So these two are the system libraries and then uh, this particular library will enable us to control the mouse and these two are the image capture library which has certain function we the one that we are utilizing to ca uh, recognize the e what type of sushi customer is ordering and all those things and this numpy uh, library will help us to uh, perform certain calculations uh, Say for example converting the color values into the array and then uh, again just adding them all together and uh, getting a sum. And then we have the two uh, global variable that is x and y coordinate for the to capture the um, uh, play area. Then we have another function that help us to capture the uh, play areas uh, image. The next function is to control uh, our mouse and uh, this particular function is left click will perform a left uh, mouse click for us then left down function will perform just mouse uh, left uh, button down and similarly left up then uh, this uh, mouse POS function will help us to get the current mouse position and similarly if we want to move our mouse then we have another function which will uh, just help the mouse move on certain position sorry uh, I it just uh, I reverse it so the mouse position uh, pause function will help us to move a mo uh, move our mouse on certain position and get code function will help us to get the current mouse position X and Y coordinate then we have next function will start game so we just move our mouse on certain position and just left click that's it so this is uh, for clicking on certain buttons so once we are done with the start game then we have another class uh, that help us to get the coordinate of certain thing which we are using in our uh, uh, functions so this is for food rise in the left uh, area uh, these are the position for the food rise then this is food mat position, phone positions and the phone menu position. So these are just the X and Y coordinate of certain things that we're going to utilize in our game. And next one is uh, key value pair uh, dictionary variable uh, to check every time how many in number of ingredient do we have in our hand. And then next function is to make food. So we are making food based on we are passing a parameter. Uh, which would be the food type basically we would be having only three food type and just uh, if that food type is match or found then we'll just remove uh, the ingredient for that particular food type and start cooking that by moving the mouse and clicking on in the ingredients and the next function is buy food so by the time we make the food we also need to check if we are running out of the ingredient if yes then we'll buy the food so to buy the food we'll also have the similar kind of function which will move our uh, mouse on the phone 
and click on that and check for what ingredient is turning low and we'll click on that ingredient and make the uh, order so once we are done with that function then we have another function to clear the table so to clear the table we would need to move our mouse on the uh, ta uh, plates and then just left click so these are the two lines uh, and uh, we need to repeat these two lines for six times since we have six seats there on the game and then next function is uh, recognizing what exactly customer is ordering based on the uh, sushi's uh, image color values so we just capture the image of what exactly customer is ordering the sushi image then we'll convert it the uh, color values into an array and we'll get that array sum so based on the sum and that sum should be matching with the same sushi if they are ordering on the more than one seats and then again we'll uh, repeat that function six times since there are six seats and for each sushi type the pixel sums pixel valued sums should remain same no matter what seats uh, they are on so we create another uh, dictionary key pair value function and based on the sum we'll define if it's onigiri california roll or ganka and similarly to check if uh, how many ingredient or how much food do we have in our hand we'll loop through each item there are basically three item and check if any of the item is lower than uh, four in quantity then we'll buy food and we'll make the order for that particular ingredient and at the end we have a final function just to put all the things together and for the final function we are using a flow that flow is to check if there is any customer and that they are making any order so based on the order we'll cook the food and at the same time we'll check if we are running out of the ingredient then we'll buy and at the end just clear the table and repeat the same things so we'll get the pixel sum value here in the s1 and we'll check if it is in the this dictionary variable if yes then we'll make that food and we'll repeat the same for six seats and after repeating it for the six seats we'll clear the table at the end and we'll check if uh, we need to order the food or order the ingredient and this is the final function this is start game only one time running and check customer would repeat it every time so let's uh, resize again to like 12 and run it so press F5 so right now we have endless loop you can add a counter to your code so let's go there and refresh to get the initial screen of the game so there we go so let's run the main function here main and hit enter sorry there is something wrong oh it's in small letter so let's copy your function I'll try it again M A I N and function hit enter so there we go so our robot has started playing the game and now you can see I'm not doing anything robot is trying to clear the table now it's making the food based on what customers are ordering there we go again and you can see how fast it is So now we are running out of rice so it has automatically ordered the rice but now it's trying to order some topping because it's four if we are if our ingredient is four or less then we'll make the order for the ingredient so 
now we can see that it's zero so it should order the ingredient in a while so that's it in tutorial in this tutorial thanks for watching see you in next tutorial so let's have so to stop the game i really don't have anything uh,